Our friend Jason visited the Chinese calligraphy master the other day, and after he came back, he became very interested in Chinese calligraphy. So, I decided to send him a set of four treasures of the study for his birthday. On the screen, we see a set of four treasures of the study. Chinese ancient literati are basically able to write and draw, so these four treasures are indispensable in ancient Chinese scholars' study. B or the writing brush was a unique tool for writing and painting in ancient China. Since the Yuan Dynasty, Hu Bi, the writing brush produced in Huzhou, Zhejiang Province, has become the most famous type of writing brush in China, with its characteristics of being sharp, mellow, and forceful. Chinese calligraphy and painting need ink to create the splendid artistic prospect. The most famous ink stick is Hui Mo. The Hui ink stick, which is produced in Anhui Province. Paper making is one of the four great inventions of ancient China. Xuan paper, the paper produced in Xuancheng, Anhui Province. Has a good title of the King of the Papers. The ink slab is used for rubbing the ink stick. The most famous ink slab is produced in Duanxi, Guangdong Province. The ancient Chinese literati attached great importance to ink slab, and they were even buried together after death. Therefore, ink slab has an elegant nickname of Stone Companion. Believe it or not. Many calligraphy lovers can create excellent works without using them. One stroke in calligraphy or painting is said to reveal the inner world of the writer. Of course, Chinese art goes beyond this domain of black and white. Besides ink, various pigments are used. As a matter of fact, Chinese art has been recognized and praised by experts home and abroad for its colorful art forms and distinctive artistic styles. You may think of them as abstract, complex, and mysterious, but when you get closer to a specific work of art, whether they are calligraphy, paper cutting, or embroidery, you can feel an underlying force flowing within them. After this brief introduction, your mind may be filled with all kinds of questions. What is Chinese people's favorite color? How do Chinese people name their color system? How do Chinese people apply various colors to works of art, and are there any connotations? Why is the color of those ancient works long-lasting? Blah blah. Yes, color is the key element which makes many precious treasures unique to the Chinese nation in the treasure house of world art. In this chapter, we will follow the clues hidden in the color to appreciate Chinese art.